back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Itsy April Glam Bag. And I have to say, I was getting a little concerned with my Ipsy subscription, and I was even thinking about possibly canceling it, but I was gonna give them one more try because I just thought that the products weren't really that great, and um, that's $10 that I could use on another box. So anyway, I was gonna cancel my subscription until I got the April box. So they must have heard me, and um, they kind of, came up okay so um, first of all let's just talk about the bag okay the bag alone has uh, kept me to be a subscriber so this month it is kind of a straw um, bag with um, multicolored uh, ribbon uh, weave through and it is just Adorable. Okay, you could even carry this as a clutch. So most, I have to say that most of the glam bags that I get, the actual bag, I just um, recycle it. And, but this one, um, like I said, I'm definitely going to try to keep this one and keep it as like a little clutch for the summer. It's absolutely adorable. I love it. Okay, so let's get right down to um, what was in the bag. So first thing, the first thing that I saw in my bag, which was definitely a fail for me, is the um, dry shampoo. Okay, first of all, I don't, be, I don't know about anybody else, but if your stuff is dirty, then um, instead of a dry shampoo, you need to wash your, your hair. Okay, I, ju I just don't understand what the purpose of uh, dry shampoo is, especially for me because I don't have oily hair. My hair is pretty much dry and um, I seek moisture. So therefore, this is not a product um, that I would use. Um, but yeah, the total fail for me. Okay, then the next item that I got in my bag is a nail polish um, from Julie. And it is in a color called bright pink okay love this color this screams spring and summer to me so I can't wait to try this um, in fact I will probably paint my toes in this okay and the next item that I got was a star looks uh, lip gloss in a bronzy gold color and I really think this is really pretty so let me just swatch a little bit on um, just on me because I have kind of a uh, medium to dark tone uh, this is just kind of like a shimmery which is a hint of color for me um, but just a great look uh, for the beach or, or something like that then the next item that I got was a nude uh, nude dude uh, mini eyeshadow and the color that I got was flirty okay um, so it's just kind of like a um, brownish brownish rosy color uh, so I don't know it barely shows on my skin tone but um, maybe just as eyeshadow it might be okay uh, for me so anyway so that healer some kind of concealer and it's by E double E okay all right, so those are the products that were in my um, Ipsy Glam Bag. Again, uh, like I said, I was starting to get a little discouraged with Ipsy uh, Glam Bag and was even thinking about canceling the subscription. But when I got the bag this month, I was just like in love with the bag alone. Um, so I would have to say that my favorite items in the Ipsy Glam Bag for April 2015 would have to be the bag itself, I'm going to use it as definitely as a clutch. Um, and uh, the nail polish. The nail polish is really, really cute and it's, um, it's a pretty decent size. So those are my two favorites out of the bag. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to get your own subscription to the Ipsy Glam Bag, I'll put a link down below. Um, other than that, stay tuned for uh, next month when I do the unboxing of the Ipsy uh, May glam bag. Thanks guys. Mwah. I'm gonna be unboxing. Okay. Start over. Uh what is this color called? It's up and then I'm not really sure what this is.